Now we are going to do some examples that have us creating an income statement and then a cost of manufactured statement and then a comprehensive problem. Um, these are similar to example to um, homework problems that you will do. So this is exercise 2-4 from your book. Um, the, the information says, last month, Cyber Games, a computer game retailer, so this is a merchandiser, had total sales of 1,450,000. 1, it also had selling expenses of 210,000 and administrative expenses of 180,000. The company had beginning merchandising inventory of 240,000, purchased additional inventory of 950,000, and had ending merchandising inventory of 170. Prepare an income statement for the company for a month. For the month. Okay. So, let's start by setting up. Sometimes you read these problems and like there's so much information here, what do I do? Well, let's start the basics. Set up the income statement. So Cyber Games is the name of the company. We're going to call it Income Statement. That's what we're creating here. And it's for month ending. We don't have a month. We'll just call it January 31st. All right. <clears throat> so now you don't have to format this exactly like this on your homework. I just like to make my statements. Nice and organized here. All right. So basically, we've labeled the statement. I think it's easiest if you set up the statement before you start making calculations. So, if we're making an income statement, the very first thing we would have is sales. Now, the next thing we would have is cost of goods sold. Remember in the example that we did in the overview of chapter two. Cost of goods sold, you get to two a little different for a manufacturing company as you do a merchandising company. And this is a retailer, so therefore it's a merchandising company. So we'll start with beginning. And remember, I'm not a very good speller, so if I make spelling mistakes, I'm very sorry. Uh, beginning merchandise inventory. inventory. All right. Make this a little bigger. And then we would add purchases, and this would be goods available for sale. Then we would subtract ending merchandising inventory. And then this would be gross margin. Then we would subtract. Selling an administrative cost. Selling. And I'm going to abbreviate admin cost. Selling cost. Administrative cost. And then we would get to net operating income. Operating income. All right. So let's see what we have. And I think it's easiest if you set up your statement before you start entering numbers, it'll be much easier for you to follow. So they had 1,450,000. I'm going to format these as dollar signs here. So if I were doing the homework, this is exactly how I would start. All right. So it says we had beginning inventory um, right here. Beginning merchandise and inventory of 240,000. All right. We had purchases, additional purchases inventory 950. So all of this information has come from the problem, but it, I just set up the statement ahead of time. So this equals our goods available for sale. So we add. So it says add. I'm going to hit the sum button. I'm going to make my thing a little wider. I'm also going to put a little line here. Okay. So then we have we subtract though, it says left merchandising, ending merchandising inventory. Ending merchandising inventory is 170. So, over here, I'm going to take my goods available for sale. I'm going to subtract my ending merchandising inventory. We still have that on hand. And that is 1,020,000. So my gross margin 
is sales minus my cost of goods sold, which is one million twenty thousand, and that equals four hundred thirty thousand. Then we have selling and administrative costs. We have it says selling expense was two hundred ten thousand, administrative expense is one hundred eighty. Let's take a total over here of these two. I'm going to put a line over this. And we get to net income by subtracting, taking gross margin minus selling an administrative cost. 390. So we have a net income of $40,000. Net operating income, $40,000. And this, you have just made an income statement for a merchandising retailer where you calculate cost of goods sold. We're actually going to move on to example exercise 2-5. Now exercise 2-5 is producing this producing a cost of goods manufactured for a company. So again remember the merchandising just has inventory on hand but a manufacturing company will have raw materials, direct labor, manufacturing overhead, and some of these other accounts. So so exercise 2-5 from your book says low Long pack products manufactures a variety of products in its factory. Data for the most recent month's operations appear below. Compare a schedule of cost of goods manufactured for the company for the month. Okay, so all I did was take the information from your book and put it into Excel to start with. So um, going from here, the very first thing again I would do is set up my cost of goods manufactured. So I'm going to name the company uh, Low Pack Long Pack Products. And this is called a schedule of cost of goods manufactured. All right. Remember, I like to make my Excel very pretty. You don't have to do this. All right. So, um, the very first thing we're going to do in a schedule of cost of goods manufacturers is calculate the direct materials. So the formula for calculating direct materials is first we must start with beginning, remember I can't spell, right? Raw materials inventory. Oops, sorry. Okay, so back to the problem. Um, direct materials. So we start with beginning raw materials inventory. Okay, so this is 60,000. That's given a pop. Oops, typo. 60,000. Alright. Then we add, this is going to be purchases. So we always start with the beginning. We add purchases. Add purchases of raw materials in this one. Okay, what's our purchases of raw materials? 690,000. Okay, so that would give us raw material available for sale. So let's add these up. I'm going to add these two up. And I'm going to put a little line over the top. All right, moving down. So now that we have this, we must now let ending, right? Raw materials inventory. And what is our ending raw material inventory? I'm using the equal sign and taking from up here because I already set up my Excel, but you could type it in. All right. So this is this total is called raw materials used in production. And so we are going to take the 750. We're going to subtract the 45,000. Make this a little bigger. So that gives us 705,000, which is raw materials used in production. The next thing we do is we calculate direct labor. Remember, direct labor, this was given in the problem as 135,000. And the other thing that we calculate for total manufacturing cost is manufacturing overhead. 
and that was already given in the problem as well, 370,000. So this is our total manufacturing cost. Sorry. Okay, so now we get to total manufacturing cost, which equals the sum of all of this. A little line here. And then we have we add beginning work in progress in process, sorry. This is also known as WIP, which I will refer to in other problems as WIP. So our beginning work in process inventory is 120. So we add these together. And then we subtract ending work in progress. Ending work in process. And then this is our cost of goods manufactured. And there you have it. That is how we create a schedule of cost of goods manufactured.